welcome this is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for Scorpio sign hi Scorpios how are you babies this is a general reading okay if it doesn't resonate go ahead and watch your other sign placements also I wanted to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers welcome here thank you thank you for being part of the family and if you are returning I'm so happy to have you here very grateful for all of you guys Let's start your reading and see what the message is. This is a general reading, okay? General. Death card in the reverse. Ace of Cups. The High Priestess. Empress, Empress is in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. And Nine of Cups. Okay, so transformation cycles are ending. <gasps> wow, man. There's a big door opening for you, Scorp. Someone wants you inside a door. Okay. Um, I see here that there is still something that is it's still outgoing. The death card is in a reverse. All right. I'm not sure if someone is refusing to accept something or there's an ending in progress. That could be. I have the Empress showing is she's in a reverse. This beautiful energy the empress she's in a reverse okay so i feel like you're still dealing somehow with an opposing woman all right maybe it's someone who's used to she used to get her way i guess so then she was able to manipulate others well normally this empress in a reverse uh, well, just this impress, this impress energy. When you are in your impress energy, you have a lot of confidence. Uh, you're not worried about what other people are doing. You're focusing on your own. You're uh, creating something. You are uh, making things happening for yourself. You have a certain amount of experience and confidence. But in a reverse, she's lacking all of those qualities. Okay. So, okay, those two energies are in the reverse. Normally for me, when I look at the Empress and the Death card is someone who's a woman or fertile energy, feminine energy who's emancipating here. Okay, a huge cycle transformation of growth. All right, it's just, it's been delayed. I think she's delaying it. it I'm not sure that could be you, Scorp. We have the high priestess here. You are following your intuition. I think there's some knowledge that you have uh, come to find out that are working for you. Uh, maybe you're doing more prayers. You have certain certain uh, ritual, spiritual ritual. Uh, it could be, uh, I don't know, maybe religious um, routine, okay? Uh, this is a general reading, but there's something you find out that seems to be evoking some positive energy of manifestation for you. All right, now you're manifesting love, Ace of Cups, and I have the Nine of Cups. It's coming. All right, I think you, I don't know, there's some, some, someone who's still holding on to something from the past. Scorpio is something that you seem to be doing, okay, very often. Eight of Swords, maybe it's time for you to let go. There's something that has to be ended. It could be for you, or it could be about another, an opposing woman here. Like the Empress, could be someone else, could be a cross watcher. Okay, maybe you see Scorpio being stuck. All right, that could be the Empress, it could be a mother here. Okay, something could be related to. Uh, some deep, old, uh, unresolved issues with the death card. And it's like, it's hard for someone to, like, it's time. That's what I'm hearing now. You know, the death card is in a reverse. It's like a transformation that can't take place right now. Anyway, so some resistance. But, I mean, the next step, once this is done, it's like the door is opening. It looks like it's love here, Ace of Cups. I mean, there's an issue. This could be an issue in choosing in the future about love, okay? Because I'm looking at the two of pentacles in the reverse. Nine of pentacles. 
Ace of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles, Corp. Wow. Okay, so this is Corp. Okay, you might be starting a new beginning in something, all right, where you want to invest. Maybe you want to invest in going to some classes or doing some seminar, or you want to train. Maybe you're going back to school, but you're definitely investing in yourself. You're investing in your future. Well, the best investment you can make about your futures is invest. It's investing it in yourself. There's something that you know that uh, you'll be able to do. You'll have the finance for it, and it's gonna provide you some clarity with the Ace of Swords here. All right, because I mean, ooh, that's interesting. Look, we have the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Um. I have to say, maybe there's some, maybe some women are jealous of the fact that you're single. Maybe some women wish you were single uh, because the Empress normally, uh, like I said, she is on a, on a throne and she's pregnant here. She is busy glowing and smelling flowers. She's very happy. This one is an Empress. Okay. So she's above all the Queens. But she's came in in the reverse. Maybe she's not aware of her power here. Like maybe it's time, Scorpio, that you take your power back. The Empress is in the reverse. Eight of Swords, like refusing transformation is an ending that has to take place. So that means something has to die. You really, there's an ending in something that is inevitable, okay? And I think it's good. It could happen. It could bring you, I should say, some healing. And yes, I pulled the Nine of Pentacles next right to it. So some of you are going to be focusing on business here or just, well, you're going to be single looking good. Nine of Pentacles, look, you're going to be really, uh, well, you can be now if you want to. I mean, if you're releasing something and you're uh, apply some, Self-love, self-care, self-forgiveness, nine of pentacles, all right? I feel that there's some work to be done here. Ace of Swords, you understand that, you agree, you want to invest in that. Maybe you're going to also invest in uh, just some membership here or maybe some classes, some lessons, uh, some programs that's going to be beneficial. It seems that's going to bring you growth. Uh, certainly confidence is returning here it's due to some manifestation I mean there's definitely in the future you don't get choices the fool is in the reverse and the two of cups all right okay so wow so the fool is in the reverse now try not to be too aloof here score all right because you're starting a new beginning so new beginning in love now I mean you mature or you have more experience, okay? Maybe that's why the Empress is in the reverse, all right? It's about also having confidence in being able to attract what you desire in terms of relationship and just really go for it. Try not to avoid it, right? Because the Fool, normally, that's the first card of the deck. That's That talks about, as you can see, uh, he's ready to start a journey. She's ready to start a, a journey, and she has an innocent, well, he has an innocent look because it's everything looks good. It's positive, right? We always want to put our foot forward and be positive. It's in the reverse, okay? So be positive, Scorp. And not that you're not, but don't try to imagine the worst, okay? Here I do see here this like look, this twin flame that you're manifesting, this two of cups. There's definitely here a mutual agreement like a mutual connection that is real, all right? You have, or you will manifest that. I see that the hermit is in the reverse. The will of fortune is in the reverse. And the chariot, okay, very good. So score, like, don't get in your own way with the will of fortune in the reverse. Like, things are turning in your favor. Don't look. Don't run the other way. Try not to. Maybe I know there's some things that are very new for you. 
the fool is in a reverse so you are a little aloof uh maybe caught off guard with the wheel of fortune is in a reverse maybe uh now you're investing just like you're like mm, i'm gonna focus on my health or blah 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 and then something else is happening you're not in control wheel of fortune in the reverse because that's it, Scorpio, you cannot control everything, right? Just, you know, life is a way and it's a journey. And with the Ace of Cups, what I see is like, you know, you're getting a lot of like something new is happening. I feel like a, a new relationship seems to, to be, look, there's a, there's a beautiful uh, wings of a bird. I mean, normally it could be an angel too, right? But like, look, the wings... Like, there's something coming out. It's like, I think it's like a relationship. It looks like it for you, Scorpio. My, good for you. Now, the chariot here next to the two of cups. Ooh, that looks like an emperor. This guy looks like an emperor. All right, so, yeah, there's a victory here. Chariot, Two of Cups. You are going to manifest something big. It seems to be. Page of Pentacles, now a new beginning of a long-term of a long-term investment. It's very good. It seems to be an investment in yourself, which is what the Empress needs right now. There's a long-term investment. Maybe you're going to start making commitments in your daily routine. Maybe you're going to be doing this, that, maybe putting some orders, more time. Nine of Pentacles is in a reverse. And Ace of Rods. Okay, so... Like, there's going to be an issue in choosing. But, you know, you don't have to make, like, this, there's a, a commitment in terms of your free will that you have to involve. Like, it's up to you. Like, no one's going to do it for you. This is stuff you need to do by yourself, for your own self. Do you understand that, Ace of Swords? Uh, but the Nine of Pentacles, it says, like, maybe you might be mis making mistakes. So be aware of that, all right? So be optimist about the future, but understand that nobody is perfect. Nine of Pentacles is in a re reverse all right, then maybe there's some things you might have to start all over again, all right, uh, but don't run away from it, all right, like you still have to be responsible, look, there's a crown here, all right, it says that uh, you understand now, you have more intelligence in your dealing, in your future, in your understanding, there's an amount of maturity that you want to, to um, uh, engage with, uh, maybe you, you need to learn something that you haven't learned. Maybe go back in the past. Nine of Pentacles, all right? And just be gentle with yourself. The beginning is, it could be any place in your life. And the beginning could be, like I said, just going back to the roots of something. Like maybe you want to go back to school. And maybe you're going to finish some classes. Or maybe you're going to take some sewing class. You want to learn how to sew. And maybe for you, it's not something as super technology, but you still want to do that. And you're going to review all that is of swords. You're going to be thinking about that. There will be issue in choosing. But I do feel that if that's changed in some way in your journey with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, it says that it's okay. You will still be able to gain from what you have put, the time that you have involved in that activity or in that program or whatever this is all right and you could still start something brand new again all right because we have two aces here we have the ace of pentacles and the ace of rods oh wow you're building your future you're serious about it you're getting some help to do that ace of rods you certainly have the stamina uh the strength to really go forward but in a very practical uh auspicious way that is supported with that there's something that you may not control of don't be aloof don't run away from good opportunities all right don't try to add more time and just get absor absorbed by something 
okay if that's something that you're interested in now changes six months from now it's okay it says that you're still going to keep the skill or whatever uh, knowledge you have gained that's great for all right like last card before i end this reading here four of swords okay great so well that's what you need to know now it's really is for you to understand let go okay four of swords you know first card that came in it's you scorpio they say in the tarot card death is uh is a card representing scorpio and the reason why is because it talks about this never-ending cycle of life and rebirth right that scorpio knows too well which means ending and go back, we start back again and sometimes we spend more time in uh, isolation or in transformation or you know a passage of life but you know th those are necessary for your growth that's the journey that you have it's a beautiful journey you have a lot of uh, uh see stability practicality happening uh you're going to be investing in yourself all right but try to not hold on to things that does not serve you anymore with the hermit really it says that now you're mature enough to have enough wisdom to understand that you don't want to get in your own way all right because there's victories there's a lot of good that, that are happening you have even maybe run a way to heal yourself i priestess you are a healer you have some knowledge all right that you could use for you know for going forward and only you with the nine of pentacles will know uh the amount of investment that you want to give and uh options are also available for you but here i am ending this reading it's a great reading wow scorpio this is so exciting let me know how this resonates with you don't forget to subscribe my channel and until next time send me lots of kisses i love you